Assalamualaikum and a very good morning everyone. Today we will start our English lesson for year 5. So, before we start, I hope you already get prepared with your English module and your stationery. Okay, so for today's lesson, we will learn about interrogative. Okay, what is interrogative? Interrogative is how you want to ask the questions okay the function is to ask the question okay for example there are many ways to ask question but uh, for today's lesson we will focus on these three okay is there are there how many okay is there are there how many okay so we will learn when we want to use is there are there or how many and how to answer the question okay so we start with, with is there for example is there any ice in the class is there any ice in this in the class look at the class you can see the ice okay why we use is because ice is singular only one okay i c e is there is no s or plural noun there so this is singular so we have to use is is there any ice in the class so if the question is start with is the answer should be whether yes there is or no there isn't so you can see the ice there so the answer is yes there is okay yes there is okay so Next question, next example for is there. Okay, is there any people in the living room? Is there any people in the living room? Okay, look at the noun there, people. People, there, are, there is no S. It is singular, people, only one. So, we have to use is. Is there any people in the living room? Okay, look at the picture. You can, uh, uh, is there any people? No, right? You can only see the, the coffee here. So, the answer, no, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay. Next. Okay, this is uh, another example for is there. Is there any cat in the living room? Okay, look at the noun, cat. Is it singular or plural? There is no S for the cat. It's only C-A-T. So it is singular. When it is singular, we have to use is. Is there any cat in the living room? So the answer should be whether yes, there is or no, there isn't. Uh, from the picture, can you see any cat here? No, right. Is there only a dog so the answer is no no there isn't no there isn't okay okay this is another example of F R R there okay R there okay this is look at the uh, sentence are there any apples in the basket okay look at the apples the noun here apples the spelling it have S at the end of the spelling of the apple. So it is it is plural because more than one. It have S so it is plural. So we should use A. Are there any apples in the basket? So the answer that we have to choose it is either yes they are or no they aren't. Okay, look at the picture. Is there any apple? Are there any apples in the basket? Yes, they are. Okay? Yes, they are. Okay? Next picture. Okay, look at the picture. Okay, this is the sentence. Are there any balls at the field? Okay, balls. Look at the noun, balls. It is plural. So, we have to use are. Are there any balls at the field? So, from the picture, you can see many balls, right? 
So the answer is yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay, if the picture doesn't have any balls, you can answer no, they aren't. Okay, but this picture, are there any balls at the field? Yes, they are. Okay. Okay, so this is another example for are there. Are there any books at the library? Okay, look at the noun books. Okay, B-O-O-K-S. It means a lots of book, many books. It is plural. So we have to use are. Are there any books at the library? Okay. Can't you see any books here? Yes, there are. Okay. So the answer, yes, there are. Okay. So, next example is how many interrogative this is another way how you want to ask a question how many how many shops in the shopping center okay so uh, if we use how many it doesn't have any how many any no cannot so how many shop in the shop in that shopping center there are okay the answer should be there are 10 or there are one, there are two, there are three, there are four, there are hundreds of shops in the in that shopping center. Okay, how many? So the answer should be the number. Okay, how many? Okay, next. This is another example. How many cars on the street? So you have to count the cars. Okay, so the answer should be there are maybe one car one car on the street uh, but this is the answer there are 32 cars on the street okay how many is used when you want to find out uh, the numbers okay how many how many shop uh, so you have to count how many so this is how many cars so you have to count how many cars on the street okay so, I hope you understand what I have uh, conveyed to you guys. So, that's all for today. I hope you can complete your task. Uh, you can answer the worksheet, uh, page 13, exercise F and exercise G. Okay, and then you can send me the picture of your work through WhatsApp. Okay, if you have any inquiry or question, you can always ask me through WhatsApp. That's all for today. Thank you. Bye. See you again in the next lesson.